Hello guys and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. In the last episode, if you don't remember, uh, we went ahead and joined the Literature Club. We met all four girls, Monica, Sayori, Natsuki, and Yuri. Uh, not necessarily in that order. And in this episode, we're going to decide who we want to uh, pursue, I guess is the word. I want to choose a word that doesn't sound creepy. We're going to choose whose route we're going to go on. Just put that in the most like technical terms, I guess. So my decision for who we are going to go down the route of first is Sayori. And my reasoning for this is because Sayori has known our main character for the longest amount of time. So they technically have like the closest relationship out of all of them. Uh, even if MC and Sayori haven't really talked at all uh, over the past like year or so. And also, the way that the poem game works is, I forgot to mention this last time, but if you have a tie, I'm pretty sure it defaults to Yuri automatically. And then second place is Natsuki and third place is Sayori. And so technic on a technical level, technically speaking, uh, you are least likely to have seen Sayori's route. So, even if this you've already played through the game before, and you haven't gone down all of the routes yet, then I'll probably be showing you something new. I went, and had, I went ahead and saved the game last time, so if I mess up here, then I could probably uh, just redo it. It would be really embarrassing if I messed up the first word. Is Valentine- Valentine's probably a Sayori word, right? Because it's not a Yuri word. Would it be a Natsuki word? Dang it! Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. So pink is Natsuki. Uh, broken isn't really a Yuri word or a Natsuki word. And usually when it's not a one of those, it just goes to Sayori. So broken, yep. If, you're go if you want to go down Yuri or Natsuki's route, a good way to snoop out what is a Yuri or Natsuki word is Yuri has usually like long words like heaven sent. Nightgown I'm pretty sure is a Natsuki word. Uh, entropy, just words that you wouldn't typically use on a day-to-day -day basis. And then Natsuki is usually like cutesy stuff or stuff that relates to food. I think hope? I think childhood, since uh, Sayori is our childhood friend I think. Yeah, she's childhood. Ribbon, I remember, I think that's Natsuki's word. Even though... Well, I guess that's more of a bow rather than a ribbon. Uh, bed. And then... Sparkle. Then we go to... Fun? Okay, and then... Silly. And then... Clumsy. Then we go to... Together? Yeah, and then... I think Sayori's words are... Uh, if you ever see a an adjective uh, that describes something in a positive light, uh, like, amazing or awesome. I'm pretty sure that's a Sayori word. Uh, let's see. Uh, cry? Yep, that's a Sayori word. Uh, tears, I think, might also be along that same vein. Lazy? Uh, bouncy? I forget if that's a Sayori or a Natsuki word. Ah, it's a Natsuki word. I didn't see any other things that I think were Sayori words. Um, heart. Yeah, there we go. And then... Party? Yep. And then... Uh, time? No, that's Yuri. Huh. That's a weird one. And then... Bubbles. No, that's Natsuki. Huh. 
smile. Yep. And then final word. Joy. Okay. I think we did pretty good. I'll go ahead and put up what my score for Sayori was. Uh, and we'll see if I did any good at all. In fact, in a little bit, we'll see whose route we went on. Hi again, MC. Glad to see you didn't run away on us, haha. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, MC. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Lucky deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm -mm -mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. MC always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. You almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and MC can become great good friends too. Uh, um... S Sayori? Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, you even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori! Eh? Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Ooh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess, that's up, I guess that means it's up, it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. So you can kind of see how the game gives you a reason to go after... Uh, that that's still sounds like such creepy weirding, uh, wording, but... It gives you a reason to interact with each one of the girls. You know, Sayori is your childhood friend, so you already have a pre-established connection. Uh... Uh, MC likes manga, just like Natsuki, and Yuri gives you a book to read, so it's not like there's one that the game particularly favors, uh, and it's not like there's, like, a, a canon route or anything like that, it's just do whatever you want to. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. I think I got Sayori's route? Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man. Looks like no one wants to be bothered today. Okay, I did. Good. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. 
We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know. And after they come, we can do the thing. We can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Cyber is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear it deliberating like this. Huh? That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Uh, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes. <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah. You're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ugh! I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry! Wait! Actually, I'm not sorry at all! It's your fault for sleeping like that! This isn't the napping club! Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of a doubt. I, I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Ah. I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. It's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But nobody would even notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. <laughs> hey, you meaning? And you don't even keep your blazer bl buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button your blazer from the bottom. Once you, once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this, aren't you? Ugh. I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. Ugh. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? Okay, since this is still like a dating sim sort of game, it does have, you know, lines of dialogue that are a bit weird and... You know, you know those memes about how, like, 
insert media here while I'm watching alone and then insert media here when my parents walk in or something like that. Uh, it's basically that. <clears throat> it means my boobs got bigger again. D don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look so much- you look much better now, so... Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy! Ugh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because! If I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you'd take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, but I was just joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! MC, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I fail to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this thing before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Sa Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Alrighty, so we get to the second half of each chapter. The first chapter usually starts with us hanging out with whatever girl uh, we got the most points on the poem game with. And, you know, we get a CG with us doing an activity with them. And then the second half of the chapter usually consists of us sharing our poems that we made with all of the different uh, members of the club. Anyways, since we just got to hang out with Sayori, uh, and we also completed our first poem, I think this is a good place to end off the video, so thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!